Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies 54321 15 box football mixer. It's a random team break. Featuring five boxes of Panini 1, four boxes of Hit Parade autographed jerseys, three boxes of plates and patches, two boxes of contenders first off the line, and a box of gold standard first off the line. Big thanks to this group of people right here for making this happen. And congrats again to the winners of the spots right here. And all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams five times. Two and a three. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got Gale all the way down to Neil. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five times. Fifth and final time. After five, we got the Green Bay Packers down to the Niners. Uh, I don't know, Eric, but we're going to go through the list right now. We're gonna, you're going to find out in a second. Gale with the Packers, Garrett with the Dolphins, Will with the Jags, Terry with the Panthers, Chris with the Bengals, Will with the Broncos, last spot mojo, Chris with the Eagles, Barry with the Ravens, Steve Birch with the Giants, Jason with the Rams, Jason Miller with the Jets, Will with the Saints, Tom with the Colts, Barry with the Falcons, Steve with the Texans, Pedro with the Lions, Brennan with the Cardinals, Rex with the Titans, Will with the Browns, Stephen K with the Bears, Will with the Bills, Will with the Bills, Daniel with the Buccaneers, Will with the Washington football team, Jordan with the Steelers, Robert Flores, my Raiders, and the Dallas Cowboys, Will with the Chiefs, Ethan with the Seahawks, Will with the Chargers, Carl with the Vikings, Paul with the Patriots, and Neil with the San Francisco 49ers. Let's get all that on one screen. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's box these up and center them. It makes it look nice right there. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Look, there was a trade between Brennan and Will. So it's a Cardinals-Saints trade here. So let's move Will into the Cardinals spot. We'll put T next to their uh, the name for trade so we know that keep track of here watching at home. If you're following along at home, we know who draws first blood in the trade. There you go. And Brennan with the Saints now. Good luck to both of you. Now let's print and rip. No, for, yeah, Nick Jaspi's a tout, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's start with let's start with these plates and patches first. Here's the final list, hot off the presses. There you go. Thanks everyone for making this happen. I appreciate it. So we'll start with the plates and patches, one autograph, one memorabilia card, and one printing plate per box on average. Remember, train whistles are out of five and under, so some train whistle opportunities here. Yes, for the jerseys, we'll play a couple, uh, some four quick rounds of Who Am I? We're going to do those last. So get your thinking caps on for bragging rights. All right, so there's the plate right here. The plate is going to be Chase Claypool. Nice one of one for the Steelers. That's going to be for Jordan. Jordan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We got John Elway to 65 for the Broncos. That's going to go to Will. And behind A.J. Dillon is, wow, Supreme Swatches, Dan Marino. One out of 50. Some some sharp colors popping from those windows there. Who's got the Dolphins? Garrett Strauss with the Dolphins. Nice one, Garrett. Player worn used material. Not sure if it's game used. Sometimes they say that and then you'll see turf on there, so. Still nice. Nice Dan Marino. And we've got a AJ Dillon. AJ Dillon was in front of his autograph. Upper echelon autograph. 24 out of 75. Packers. Gale with the Go Pack Go. Let's 
And you got the sounds of the NBA in the background, NBA playoffs. Denver Nuggets in Portland. Portland up 99-95. Denver leading the series 3-2. So it's been pretty exciting so far. Going into the fourth quarter. Exciting if Portland can take this to a game seven. Khalil Mack is the plate for the Bears. Stephen K, look at this. Stephen K won uh, a spot in Prism Hanger Box 52. Gets randomized. The Bears gets number 52. Khalil Mack. Stephen. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, we've got Mark Ingram to 10. And we've got Patch Trio, Cam Akers. Triple Relic to 50 for the Rams. That's going to go to Jason Parsons. And the autograph is a Steve Atwater, Marky Marks. Marky Mark? Marky Marks? 21 out of 25 for Will and the Broncos, my rivals. Last spot mojo. No, Brandon, we canceled the filler. So we have one less filler to do, which is probably good news. There's Reggie Bush, 32 out of 65. Saints edition, that's going to go to Brennan. And the third and final plates and patches box. There's Christian Wade for the Bills. Buffalo! Will with the Bills. All aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. Yeah, Brandon, also, pro tip, if you go take a look at our break schedule, we always have, um, I, I do my best to keep the number of fillers that we need to accomplish update, as updated as possible. So you can always keep track of how many fillers there are in the first place and whether or not we took out fillers. That's on the break schedule if you scroll down a little ways. All right, it's going to go into a larger sleeve here. Terry McLaurin to 35 for Will. And behind Teddy Bruschi is Devin Duvernay. Double coverage. Two-color dual relic, 14 out of 99. Purple Birds, Barry Roberts. And back here is Brandon Ayuk. That's nice. Two-color jersey and autograph that is 60 out of 99 for Neil and the San Francisco 49ers. There you go, Neil. And there's Teddy Bruschi right here. And that's for the Patriots. Let's get into some first off the line. Contenders first off the line. I don't know what the exclusives are in contenders first off the line. Does anyone know offhand and can remind me in the chat? I'd appreciate that. I'm sure some different numbered, different and lower numbered stuff. But you still get the five autographs and one card right there. There's Neil. You're welcome, man. Thanks for getting in. What's, what's in a... <laughs> so many K's. Do you even need that many K's? Are they, I feel like we're just starting to get into 4K TVs. Yeah, I don't think your eyes can even focus on 8K. Come on, Samsung. Well, I kind of want that phone, though. There's Sabrina Ionescu in the state format. I heard that she had a... Uh, Triple double the other night, and I was shocked to hear. As long as the NBA, WNBA has been going on, at how few triple doubles there have just been in the league in general. I thought there'd be more for some reason. But.
No one knows what's special about contenders for us off the line? I'm assuming it's like some something's lower numbered or there's a, there's a exclusive parallel in here somewhere. We'll find out. Hopefully we'll get one of those. Good luck, everybody. And we've got a Jason Witten. That looks different, doesn't it? No number on there, but just a different kind of foil. That'll still ship. We'll do uh, top-bottom randomizers on this. I'm too lazy to Google. No, it's all good. I thought someone might have known off the top of their head. Damien saying maybe red zone autographs and one red zone parallel. Oh, was that the red zone parallel then? So that must the Jason Witten must be the red zone parallel for the Raiders. Rob. And our first autograph is going to be Alexander Johnson, rookie ticket autograph for the Broncos. Will with the Broncos, last spot mojo. 116 is saying there's a blue shimmer in there somewhere too. Okay, so some things to look out for. And we got Deontay Johnson. We got Alexander and now, a, now oh, sorry, a Dearness Johnson. Check that. Cleveland, this is for you. Will with the Cleveland Browns. It's auto two out of five. And auto three out of five is Ben DiNucci. We haven't seen the one on card auto yet. There's two more autos to go. We got a Colby Parkinson autograph for the Seahawks. That'll be for Ethan Cook. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, Jeremy. Raiders offense is pretty good. And the final. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Justin Jefferson, on-card autograph, red parallel. Carl won a spot in this break and got randomized the Minnesota Vikings and gets the Justin Jefferson. Get a little top loader dust in there. Nice. That's pretty sharp. Got one more of these to go. So another first off the line box. There you go, Jeremy. That makes more sense. Yeah, the Raiders' defense has the red carpet open. Right to, right to the end zone. Right, Portland only up by one now with 8.45 left in the fourth. Interesting. my Lakers in Phoenix hoping to stave off elimination apparently TNT reporting that Anthony Davis is expected to play now how how many minutes is he expected to play how effective will he be in those minutes I guess we'll find out when, when this game's over and the next game begins
Carmelo turning back the clock? Maybe? Uh-oh, how does that work out? Jeremy Harder saying, at his church, the associate minister at his church is a Raiders fan, and the main pastor is a Chiefs fan. All right, next box. Oh, right, 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 yeah, the game's in L.A. They were in Phoenix last, uh, a couple nights ago. Yeah. And the Lakers are minus three. There's Marlon Mack for the Blue Horseshoes, Tom. Is Chris Paul playing tonight, Gary? Do you have any idea? I know they said Anthony Davis will be out there as much as he can. We got Desmond Patman for the Blue Horseshoes. That'll be for Tom. We got Austin, return of the Mac. 71 out of 99 for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Steve Birch. Wait, what? And the pastor's wife's a Broncos fan? What's all this AFC West fandom? That'll, that should make for some fun Sundays. Chris Paul should play, not ruled out. Okay. It'll should hopefully. Well, the Lakers. For, first things first. Lakers just need to show up, <laughs> not like last game. And then if the, if that happens, then it should be an interesting game. I think there's Malcolm Perry, for Miami. That'll be for Garrett. I don't think we've seen our on card auto yet. And then we got Joe Reed for the Chargers. That's going to be for Will and the Bolts. Did you see that card right there? Wow. It's who I thought it was. Justin Herbert. We got Justin Jefferson in the first contenders first off the line box. And now a Justin Herbert. Woo! Will Driggers with a spot that he bought straight up gets the red zone Justin Herbert on card autograph. Wow. That is amazing. It's got good penmanship too. The red looks really sharp. There's some top loader dust in there. And it's right there, but you can get it out of the card. I don't want to keep messing with it. That is awesome. All right, congrats, Will. Thanks for getting in. All right, now we've got another first off the line box, this time gold standard football. Good luck. And then we'll do the Panini one boxes, and then we'll close out with those jerseys. All right, I think the, all of those are hits. There's Cole McDonald, had a farm, E I E I O, one out of 11. 
I agree, Jose. I want to see more Montrez today. Let's just mix it up. All right, behind Julio Jones is Champ Bailey, Hall of Gold Relic. 179 out of 199. Denver Broncos goes to Will. DK Metcalf, 102 out of 199. Quad Relic. Ethan with the Seattle Seahawks. Got a dual relic, newly minted, Tyler Johnson, Keyshawn Vaughn, 87 out of 249. I see the fire department's coming for that Justin Herbert. Buccaneers, Daniel. And we've got Larry Fitzgerald, one of one. Wow. What a break for Will. Man, and that's... He got the Arizona Football Cardinals in a trade. Woo! Golden Gloves autograph, one of one, Larry Fitzgerald. Go buy a lottery ticket, Will. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! People were just sleeping on this mixer. And we got a Jalen Hurts at the end. Wow. Triple relic and autograph. 19 out of 22. Chris Lambros with the Fly Eagles Fly. Yeah, good guy Will saying now we just need a nice Saints card to even out that trade. Now we got plenty of boxes to go. Plenty of time to... Uh, Plenty of time to make up for it, to even out that trade. There's Julio Jones to 75. All right. Now we'll do five Panini one boxes. Good luck. We've got two out of ten LaVisca Chenault Jr. Two color patch and autograph. Jaguars. Will. Next. And we'll close out with those four jerseys here. Three color patch and autograph. T. Higgins. One out of 75. Bengals. Chris Lambros. There you go, Chris. Next is Brandon Ayuk. Two color patch and autograph, 146 out of 199. Niners, Neil with San Francisco. Next. Ooh, is this the guy that throws T. Higgins the ball? It is. It's Joe Burrow, two-color, quad relic, and on-card autograph, 48 out of 49. Bengals, Chris Lambros. Chris won this spot in Prism Pack 51. Got randomized the Bengals in this. Ends up with the T. Higgins, which was nice. And the guy that throws him the ball, even nicer. Woo! This mixer was just sitting there. Man. Marinating. 
Yeah, they say that they say that he's gonna be ready for week one, Damien. All right. Next is another cat team. And the Bengals before this time the Lions. One, two, three, four color patch on card autograph. Two out of seventy-five. DeAndre Swift. That'll be for Pedro and the Lions. Wasn't that an old indie band back in the day? All right, let's put some of this away. I gotta take pictures of these after the break. We'll do this top bottom randomizer a little bit later. Games tied 108 108. <laughs> Okay, now, put your thinking caps on. We'll do a four quick rounds of Who Am I? All right. Was it really a ban, Will? All right, who are you? Okay. I think it's this person. Ah, it was an individual. All right. Okay. Who am I? I'm a retired running back. Currently 39 years old. Born in Miami, Florida. Six foot, 235 pound running back. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Was a first round pick in the early 2000s with a 23rd pick. I was a Heisman Trophy finalist, a two time Pro Bowler, also an NFL Comeback Player of the Year award winner. I ended up with 8,474 yards in my career, 65 rushing touchdowns, 210 receptions for uh, 1,300 receiving yards and five receiving touchdowns. Not Ricky Williams. Eric Dickerson's a lot older than 39, Jeremiah. Jeremy's got it. There you go. Not Cedric Benson. It's Willis McGahee. Nice. So I think these are custom jerseys, so I'm going to leave them folded in here. But there's the silver ink autograph right there. There's his number 21. There's the McGahee right there. He played for the Bills, Ravens, Broncos, and Browns. These are Bills colors right here. So Buffalo, Will Driggers with the Buffalo Bills. Nice mixer for Will. And a very good guess from Jeremy Harder. Bragging rights, Jeremy. Yeah, Will is having a very good mixer, Damien. That's for sure. Make, makes up for the many more times where he has not had good breaks. Damien. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, now Denver's taking the lead, 114 to 108. 415 left in the game. Who are you? Oh, okay. All right, I am an active running back. Active running back, 5'10", 217 pounds, second round pick. 
in 2020. Think of your second round picks in 2020. I've got uh, 625 rushing yards in my rookie season. A couple rushing touchdowns, 11 receptions, 123 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown. I feel like I feel like I might I might be a nice sleeper pick for your fantasy teams this year. <laughs> I'm just letting people know, Will, that there there are times when you're not going to hit all the time, so keep trying like you have, and you'll be rewarded like this. Not Swift, not A.J. Dillon, the other guy. The other running back. Very close. No, not Clyde edwards Lair. The other running back. There you go. Damien's got it. Cam Akers. There you go. There's his autograph right there. You got a number 23 inscription on there as well. That's nice of him. There's his number 23. Now these are uh, these are custom jerseys, meaning they, they won't have like the NFL shields or logos or anything like that. So that's why, oh, and there's the Beckett sticker right there. That's why we're just gonna keep them nicely folded in here. Rams, that goes to Jason Parsons. All right. Thanks, Jason. Got you something at the very end. Two more to go. Good luck. Now, there is, I guess I should have said this earlier, there is a possibility that there may be um, guys in their college uniforms. And since there's no checklist for stuff like this, we go by our no checklist rule. So if there's a college uniform in here, it'll go to the player, uh, it'll go to the team that they're current, if they're active, they'll go to the team they're currently on. And if they're inactive, if they're retired, they'll go to the team they played for the longest. All right, what's this? Oh, this is an authentic jersey. All right, who am I? I am an active wide receiver in the NFL. Was a fifth round pick back in the, uh, not that back in the day, but a fifth round pick. Pick number 146, a pro bowler, a first team all pro, a NFL receptions leader, and an NFL receiving yards leader. I have 492 receptions in my career, 6,158 receiving yards in my career, and 38 receiving touchdowns since uh, since 2015. Think about your fifth round picks in 2015 wide receivers that are really, really good. <laughs> Who am I? Played for two teams my entire career. There you go. Jeremiah's got it. Stephon Diggs. Nice. Just once is fine, Jeremiah. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. There you go. Nice. So it's worth a look. Because it's a Nike jersey right here. All right. Jeremiah needs a timeout. <laughs> There is his autograph, and yes, it is Bill's edition. All right, so there's the, there's all the retail tags, right? Nice hundred twenty dollar jersey, the laundry tag, the NFL shield, Bills right up front, got the Nike swoosh on the sleeve. Digs on the back. 
and a big silver ink autograph right there on the bottom. Nice. Yeah, Will's like, I'm going to be a Bills fan now. And there's all the Beckett stickers and everything right here, too. Very nice. All right, I'm going to fold this up nicely after I'm done with this break. All right, and the final one. No, I, I have been looking. Denver's up six points now. I feel like I feel like Portland's maybe scored five points in this entire quarter, or at least half a quarter. Yeah, Jeremy Harder's glad Diggs isn't in the NFC North anymore. All right, final one, ladies and gentlemen. Is this another authentic jersey? Ooh. Yeah, it's another Nike jersey. All right, who am I? And another active player. Who am I? I'm a 27-year-old running back from Flint, Michigan. 5'9", 215 pounds. Played for one, two, three, four teams in my entire career. Part of the PFWA All-Rookie Team back in 2015. Haven't really been, I don't know, could be a late bloomer. But I was undrafted, actually, so hey. If I was undrafted back in 2015, and I was part of the PFWA All-Rookie Team in 2015, that's not bad. I have a career 1,336 rushing yards. Uh, seven rushing touchdowns, 31 receptions for 266 receiving yards, and one receiving touchdown. On the Jaguars practice squad in 2019, but I guess it was released in 2019. I don't think I've been picked up by a team last year in 2020, unfortunately. Was with the Bengals before that, was with the Jets before that, but I think most of you will know me from, uh, from my time with the Seahawks between 2015 and 2017. So that's going to go to Ethan Cook. Who am I? So I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's out of the league, but for a moment there. For a moment there, he was, he was pretty good. Not... Not, not CJ Procise. <laughs> yeah, good one. Nice one, WW. Comedian. Undrafted 2015 out of cent running back out of Central Michigan. Dig up those uh, Central Michigan running backs out of your head in 2015. Not Carson. I'll give you the initials. TR. Not Christine Michael. He did look good that rookie year. But after that kind of kind of kind of tailed off. I think he took advantage of Marshawn Lynch being being hurt a lot that particular year. No? Am I going to show you? TR are the initials. we got to get it now. Someone's got to get it. Seahawks running backs, initials T, last name R. Central Michigan running back, undrafted. Looked good. I'm sure a lot of people added him to the, your fantasy teams that year. Maybe even, maybe even a year or two after that as well. There you go. Jeremy Harder's got it. Thomas Rawls. It's a nice jersey. I wish it was a better player, Ethan, but it's it's a good looking jersey because it's an it's an authentic Nike jersey. So there's Rawls right there, and there's his autograph right over here. There's the NFL shield. You got the 12s right there, which I think is a nice, cool touch. Yeah, 
kind of random, but there's this there's the tag right here as well. And there's the this is something that I don't know if Ethan's a Seahawks fan, but I feel like this is something you could sell to a Seahawks fan and they could actually wear it to to games. You don't have to worry about the autograph. <laughs> there's the uh, there's the sticker right there, authentication sticker right there. There's this it's a Mill Creek Sports Certificate of Authenticity as well. All right, so still a nice jersey, Ethan. Thanks for getting in. Um, I'll fold that up nicely after we finish the video. Let's do a top-bottom randomizer right here. No points or anything like that, so a nice clean break. All right, so let's flip back over here. Top-bottom. I mean, it would be kind of – there would be kind of like hashtag irony – like hipster irony, if you roll, wore a Rawls jersey to a game in Seattle, I mean, and you wouldn't have to worry about the autograph. Really. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a three, four times. Team on top after four. One, two, three, and once more, fourth and final time. It'll be the top cards who will get those. Out of the out of that contenders. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was our five four three two one football mixer. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, plenty of stuff on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I want to do some more with you, so let's get it going. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye bye.